Hello and welcome to PSD Touch Plus. My name is Martin Perhiniak. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the great new features of Adobe Photoshop CC. I am going to talk about the camera shake reduction, which can be used as a smart filter completely non destructively. This feature is able to de blur images and get rid of the camera shake. It's great whenever your image is in focus, but your hand was moving while you took the picture. Most of the times when your shutter speed was too slow and your exposure is too long to be able to hold the camera in your hand without moving it, then you have this issue uh, which you can reduce with the camera shake reduction filter. It's important that it won't help you much if your image is out of focus, or if there's a motion blur, it's great for shake uh, reduction. That's why, why it's called shake reduction filter. So first of all, to make it non-destructive, I'm going to right click on the background layer, convert to smart object, and then use the filter, which is under the sharpen menu, shake reduction. So filter, sharpen, shake reduction. And as you can see, uh, Photoshop already uh, tries to find uh, the blur trace. So it's completely automatic, but I can set a region and I can even change the size of this region to an area which is for me the most important part of the image. And I would like to make sure that that area is covered and that uh, the whole trace, blur trace, or uh, this shake reduction is based on this area here. So uh, if I don't want to see uh, this estimation region, I can always turn it off. And let's see how it looks, the, the trace result. So if I press P, we will see <laughs> the amazing result. We can always turn it off to see before and turn it back on to see after. So once again, before and after. Now we have a couple of options here. First of all, blur trace bounds. This specifies the size of the blur trace boundary. So we can try what happens if we increase it. And here in the advanced area, you can always see that the process is going. And this is how it looks with, with more blur trace bounds. And we can also change the smoothing. If we reduce that, then we will have a little bit sharper or crisper detail, uh, but we will have a little bit more noise as well. It's always uh, like a C, so you have to decide uh, which one you need. Uh, more sharper details or, or a bit more softer result. Um, so you can check this was before and this is after. I think it looks great. And here in the advanced area, we can actually see that little uh, mask which shows the trace, the blur trace. So basically this little mask shows the way my hand was moving while I took this picture. I think it's a brilliant option and I tried it on several images and it works really well most of the time. I just want to remind you that it won't help you to uh, solve images out of focus it just helps to reduce the shake. I would like to just mention that if you are not happy with the automatic tracing, then you can always use this option, the blur direction tool, with which you can manually specify the direction and length uh, of a straight blur trace. Uh, I found it very difficult to use manual option uh, for this feature, so I prefer to just uh, play around with the options for the automatic tracing. I'm going to click on OK and I just would like to show you that all this change is now saved completely non-destructively so I can always turn it off or turn it back on or I can even reduce the effect by reducing the opacity of the smart filter. So once it's turned back on I can just double click on that icon to the right of the shake reduction smart filter which will give me the blending options and the opacity. So once I can uh, click on it, double click, I can reduce the effect by reducing the opacity of the filter. It takes quite a long time because this is quite a high resolution image and it is quite a, a complicated change on the image as well, this feature. But here you can see we can reduce the opacity. Maybe I can set it to something like 57% or set it to higher. And in this case, you don't have to wait. So with the opacity, you can really fine tune what you want to achieve. Maybe even with 60%, it looks good. 
and just so you believe me I show you another example as well once again very cute image but unfortunately my hand was moving when I took this photo so what I'm going to do is on a smart object I am going to use the shake reduction and once again I just increase the region and you don't always have to use the face um, you can choose whatever works the best uh, you can always experiment and you can even create more uh, estimation regions by clicking on this plus sign and you can decide which one is the best once again I think it did a great job so let's see before and after I can even zoom closer so you can see before and after okay then I show you one more example on this image I will go again and create a smart object and then choose filter sharpen shake reduction I took this photo of a little uh, statue and uh, the, the reason why I like this example is because it shows so many little details and with this feature once it's uh, added you can see that it really becomes three-dimensional so here we don't have proper focus on the image it's a bit blurred out and then with the shake reduction it becomes so much better almost perfect I would say so that's another great new feature in Adobe Photoshop CC I hope you like this presentation and uh, if you are interested about the other new features make sure you check out the other videos here on PSD Touch Plus thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time